Good morning, and let us pray. Bless now the words of my lips and the meditations of our hearts and minds, that they might be acceptable in thy sight, and glorify thee, O Lord, our Rock and our Redeemer. Amen. The reading, Old Testament reading for this coming Sunday, the fourth Sunday after Pentecost, is from Ezekiel chapter 17, verses 22 through 24. Thus saith the Lord God, I will also take of the highest branch of the high cedar and will set it. I will crop off from the top of his young twigs a tender one and will plant it upon a high mountain and eminent. In the mountain of the height of Israel will I plant it and it shall bring forth boughs and bear fruit and be a goodly cedar. And under it shall dwell all fowl of every wing and the shadow of the branches thereof shall they dwell. And all the trees of the field shall know that I, the Lord, have brought down the high tree, have exalted the low, low tree, have dried up the green tree, and have made the dry tree to flourish. I, the Lord, have spoken it and have done it. Here ends the reading. The Lord God works in ways that are not like the ways of humankind. Those things, those people, those rulers of this world whom we would lift up, the Lord has a way of bringing down. Consider the story of David, the youngest of sons, a mere shepherd boy, is anointed as the next king at the Lord's direction. Jesus, born of a teenager in a stable, born to a carpenter, is lifted up by his death on a cross. He is lifted up on that cross to die, yet he lives and ascends into heaven where he is king of the eternal, the most beautiful and blessed kingdom. The Lord does what seems a bit backward to humankind. Those who think they are better, more important, higher than others, will find themselves embarrassed as the Lord reveals the truth and brings them down to the bottom. As Ezekiel tells us, the Lord brings down the high tree and exalts the low tree. He dries up the green tree and has made the dry tree to flourish. He blesses the lowly. Thanks be to God, for his mercy is great. Amen. Amen.